What do you think of the new developments here at Haven Hafani Moor Holiday Park? I think it's incredible. I think I was young enough to experience it all again. It'd be absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, I'd love to get amongst it. Look at it. How do I describe myself in three words? I say I'm passionate, red-blooded, basically because I'm red-haired, um, and I say caring. I think that's sort of underlying in me. How do I get into rowing? Um, grew up in the Thames Valley, um, got a local um, scholarship to a, a school that rowed, played a lot of rugby to get that scholarship, and then just loved being out in the water, loved the tranquility. Uh, and my favorite thing about the sport is actually the camaraderie. So the teammates that we and the friendships that we build are very special. And that's something that I haven't really experienced in any other job. Oh, I think I found a, um, a parking spot. So I'll see you guys later. What achievements am I most proud of? I'd say uh, London 2012, that was my debut. Um, and to race with my best friends and get that bronze medal was probably, you know, probably a better, stronger feeling than the, even the Olympic gold. So that was my, my proudest moment ever. Um, if I was to compete in another professional sport, I'd love it to be the 100 meters. Uh, but as proven earlier, I'm not actually very fast. I haven't got many fast switch fibers. So I don't think that would ever be possible, but that would be the dream. He cheated everyone, I hope we all saw that. When I'm training, you need to eat a lot of calories to fuel, what's your favorite meal? Curry, hands down. Lots of calories, um, I find it absolutely delicious. I could eat it every night of the week. Um, and the average speed of an eight when we're racing is around 22 kilometers. Um, so it doesn't sound very fast, but when you're in it and you're amongst it, it feels very aggressive and passionate. And it's, it's something that, um, that I thrive and that's why I train. Question nine, your sport's very physical and strenuous. What do you do to relax? I like to walk the dog. Um, it just seems to take the pressure off. You go out into the woods and chill out. Also quite like paddle boarding, which is quite similar to being on a boat like this. Thank you very much, guys. Whoop. Question 10, what's your favorite holiday destination? I think I'd say Sri Lanka. Uh, it's a country that's basically got everything to offer and I absolutely love surfing. So that's a, that's a number one for me. My favorite childhood memory. Oh, I think it is being down local rugby club at Henley Hawks um, with my best friend from primary school, Rowan Lee. Question 12, pool or beach? Tough one. My mum's a swimmer, so I'd have to say beach to get me out of the pool. She's very competitive and she probably still beat me. Um, and I just love being on the beach. Getting sun, again surfing. It's, it's a dream. It's a dream place to be. Question 13. Rowing as a pair, four or an eight? Um, oh, tough one. Obviously one in the eight. It was a very passionate, aggressive event um, and a lot of camaraderie, but I have very fond memories in the pair. So potentially the pair, but very closely followed by the eight. Summer or winter? Um, I'd say winter because I'm redheaded and it means I don't get burnt, but the summer is just an easier way to live. Question 15. Favourite flavour of ice cream? That's changed very recently. I think I'm going to go pistachio. Um, we do a lot of training out in Italy, so we get to taste and try a lot of variations in ice cream because obviously I have a lot of calories to put in in a day. Uh, the pistachio, pistachio for me for ice cream is number one. Question 16. Where are your Olympic and World Championship medals right now? They are in a wine box at home, um, hidden away. They're not in a special, particular special place. Uh, for me, it's, it's the, it was the competing at the time that means a lot to me. Question 17. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I think flying would be the one for me, um, just because it's something I've never experienced and you'd be able to get places very fast. It'd be a lot better than traveling by train or by car everywhere. Question 18. Who's your biggest inspiration? Uh, this is quite a sad one, um, but my coach, Jürgen Grobler, He's a guy that I put a lot of trust into and I've got a lot of results as a part of being the process of the last Olympiad. Um, he's an inspiration because he's now 73 and he's as passionate as ever. And if I could keep that passion until I was that age for one sport, um, that, that literally is the dream. So yeah, I've got a lot of, um, 
little time for him and that's, that would be my inspiration. Question 19. What does a typical day look like in the life of Will Satch? Typical day looks like a lot of training and a lot of eating. It starts at about seven o'clock in the morning. I'll get up, coffee, um, that is a must to get going. Um, it's about an hour and a half in the gym, lifting, so a weight session, followed by about 20 kilometers on the water um, at a lake. And then it'll be, before that, it'll be second breakfast. So that's two feeds before the second session. I then have lunch, um, another big feed, and then it'll be, you know, 16 to 18 kilometers in the afternoon, followed by a nap, potentially walk the dog, um, maybe go and see some mates, put your feet up by about eight or nine o'clock, and then in bed by about 10. It's not the most exciting existence, but it does seem to get results. And finally, what would be your advice to anyone wanting to follow in your footsteps? The biggest advice I think I could give, and I have been giving, is you need to be passionate about what you want to do. And if it's rowing, it takes an awful lot of time and an awful lot of, of dedication. So if you're not passionate about it, I, I, you know, it's, it's not a negative thing to say, but I wouldn't go down that path. If you really want to do and you're passionate about it, I'd get stuck in. It's a sport where if, the more you put in, the more you can get out. Thanks guys, I've really enjoyed my time on Dragon Lake uh, in Hafani Moor. Uh, it's time for me to get back to training, unfortunately, but um, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Help! Anyone?